Joining us tonight is Tom Fitton, the president of Judicial Watch. Tom, great to have you with us. Uh, this is, let, let's just, let's take a wild shot here. Do you endorse uh, drop boxes <laughs> and vote, vote by mail uh, options? Uh, no, uh, it would uh, terribly undermine free and fair elections. And in my view, the left is trying to set up the steel for 2020 by using coronavirus as a pretext. They've always wanted this. Now they're using it as an excuse. Uh, the idea that you can vote securely by mail is fanciful. Uh, uh, to change the system as they propose would overturn the voter ID laws in 34, 35 states. And uh, there's no way you can get the security necessary to ensure uh, elections are fair. And frankly, they're going to be relying on the U.S. Postal Service that we're being told is on the verge of collapse. Uh, this is, uh, lends urgency to the president's reopening the country and getting governors to start reopening the country. We're destroying our economy, our liberties are being suppressed, and we could have our elections blown up in the sense that they could be stolen or uh, uh, destroyed by mm -hmm. allegations of fraud and chaos uh, if we don't open up soon. It, it, it is urgent beyond measure, Lou. It is urgent beyond measure that we get back to business. They're stealing our republic. Well, Tom, uh, you know, that, that's the goal here, to steal well, our republic. Uh, when you say they, are you talking about the Chinese? Are you talking about the left wing? Are you talking about radical Dems? Who are you talking no, no, about? I'm, I'm talking about the, I'm, all, of I'm the, talking, all of those people, all of them, all of them are aligned in the same direction against this country. The left doesn't like the freedoms we, we, we take pride in. Right. They don't like the First Amendment. The idea of consent of the governed, they're happy with as long as you're electing them. If they think they could lose, they'll overthrow a president and they'll try to undermine an election. You just had Virginia on Easter Sunday pull back one of the strictest voter ID laws in the United States and basically erase voter ID in the state of Virginia. In North Carolina, they got a million names on the rolls that probably shouldn't be there, almost a million that we found in a lawsuit we just filed. Uh, all of them would get voter. All of them would get ballots under this. There's a study out just recently. Millions of ballots have been lost in the system, just under the processes we already have in place that allow certain mail uh, voting by mail. Right. This is crazy, Lou. This is why the president should reopen the country because we won't have a fair election if he doesn't do it soon enough. Yeah, but we should point out uh, that they did that with the country open. The radical Dems have been all but unchecked uh, in, the, in their efforts to do exactly what they are attempting now using the pandemic, uh, exploit the pandemic, that is to erode uh, whatever security we still have uh, around our electoral system. It's just, uh, it's, a, it's appalling. I, I want to turn to, if I may, uh, the uh, Devin Nunes, uh, the ranking member of the Intelligence Committee, saying that there will be criminal referrals. Uh, I want to get your response to that uh, and how hopeful you are. Criminal, criminal referrals from who to where? I mean, that's the, my concern. Uh, well, the Justice Department's received two criminal referrals from the IG for, uh, for, for Comey and McCabe, who, who essentially confessed to lying and leaking. They wouldn't prosecute right. them there. There's a lower level, although a senior FBI official who altered documents, he might be prosecuted. Uh, what, what, else, what else are they doing? I mean, we've had an escalation, further confirmation that the FBI knew and should have known the dossier was a fraud. Of course, we've known that for three years. What is the Justice Department doing? I appreciate the attorney general uh, thinks something bad went on, and if the evidence warrants, he'll prosecute. But that's a big darn if, Lou, and I'm not seeing evidence the Justice mm -hmm. Department has escalated the investigation in a way to suggest that there's wide-scale prosecutions imminent. In fact, the FBI and the DOJ's response to more evidence of FISA fraud with those 29 new FISA applications that were found to be criminally fraudulent, it looks like, uh, their response is, well, don't worry, we're reforming the system. I was afraid that'd be the answer, uh, but I'm awfully glad it is your answer, and I'm glad the judicial watch is on the case. Tom Fitton, as always, great to have you with us. Thanks so much. You're welcome. Thank you.